I'm Howard Hale with the Horseman's Corner, bringing you useful information from people involved with the world of horses. I'll be back with today's guest right after this. If you have an ag business, you need to use the Internet to its fullest advantage because more and more people are using the Internet every day. And you can be located on a good place to get found at agsearch.us, horsemanscorner.com, cattlemanscorner.com, or harvestusareport.com. For more information, just give us a call. Our numbers are on any of those websites. Horsemanscorner.com, cattlemanscorner.com, agsearch.us, and harvestusareport.com. Our guest today is Melanie Smith-Taylor, Memphis, Tennessee, horsewoman, Wildwood Farm. When you were raising horses, how did you handle the mares and foals? They fold out in the pastures. We would bring them up closer to the barn so we could keep an eye on the mares. And we would uh, find the foals in the morning. They usually foal in the wee hours. You could swear to to be able to see the foal boy. And we would bring the foals in to the stall with the mare and treat them, put iodine on the umbilical cord and check the mare for any tearing or anything and have the the vet would come out. And then we would would do a bit of handling with the babies, but always just with our, our hands. We didn't try to capture them or dominate them with a halter or a rope. When you use your hands, you're, you're using your feel more than, so you're guiding the colt rather than trying to dominate them if you actually put a halter on it. Melanie Smith-Taylor at Memphis, Tennessee Wildwood Farm. She'll be back again on tomorrow's program to talk more about how they handle those foals when they were born, when they were raising horses. Well, thanks for joining us for today's Horseman's Corner. Always great to have you along. May God bless you. Come back and join us again, won't you? I'm Howard Hale.